this is Shea with G Pepper Tree, and today I'm going to be unboxing my Kiki K package here. I've been eyeballing Kiki K for a long time now, and I've been wanting to get my hands on one of their planners um, just because I I find that it's just so enticing. I don't know if you watch Kiki K's videos, but I will uh, find myself just watching it over and over again. And um, I received the package. It was a little bit dented, but. I don't think that's going to cause too much damage. Now, I absolutely love the fact that they totally made sure that all the bubble packaging was on the outside of the planner kit here so that it doesn't dent and damage. So even though this box took abuse, my product seems to be intact. Okay, and right here, um, Swedish for hello. I'm not going to even try to attempt to pronounce that in case I pronounce it incorrectly. Thank you for your order. We hope you enjoy your delicious purchases. Love, Kiki K. That's so cute. And I love all this little doodling and sketch over here. And I'm going to guess that that says tack. Uh, Swedish for thank you. I love how they include a little bit of um, the Swedish language and it makes you connect to the product a little bit more. Okay, so you get this little brochure thing. Well, I think it's a brochure. Well, it's I guess it's kind of like a little intro to their company. So I'm going to have to read this later because I like to get to know the company that I'm ordering from um, just so I have a better sense of their product and their background, their history and what their values are. It, it means a lot to me to find out those um, information. And I don't know if you've um, done this challenge. It's the Kiki K Be Brave Challenge and I don't remember when the due date is but I will post that link on the bottom for this entry. I did enter into this little um, challenge here and I'll show you mine. Okay, this is the one that I entered in uh, on Instagram. And what I did was went onto the Kiki K blog, printed this out, and I wrote down what my, uh, what is one thing you would do if you knew you couldn't fail? So I put, you know, that I would write the book that has been in my heart for the past few years. I totally love this chevron look right here and the box is very um, nicely made it's quite sturdy which I would expect from an expensive planner and I love how they tissue wrap this so that I feel like I'm opening a Christmas present here <laughs> but let's see oh my gosh that is such a beautiful leather covering I'm so impressed. I love this little gold K right here. Okay, now going into this planner. Uh, on the outside surface, it's a textured leather surface, which I find that this will add to the durability because it's textured leather. Um, I don't foresee myself getting a lot of dings and uh, markings because of its textured surface. It's a little bit more resistant. The bottom is their logo Kiki K in gold. Now this is a snap um, closure and it totally matches the six ring binder and there's this little card that just tells you how to open and close the rings so you just put your thumbs on the ends and close it and it snaps easily back together. Okay, now going through this pocket, it's a very stretchy wallet, so I'm thinking I can add a lot into it. Okay, so I'm going to take my remote here from my camera, and I'm just going to squeeze it in. And look at that, it does hold quite a lot. It's not hard to get your fingers in it at all, which is great. And it lays back down flat and nice, so that's really great. Okay, and then there's a little quick to-do list and an enjoy the day list. 
and I love this pocket size because if I am going to go to Staples, let's say, and I print it out on a letter size paper, my coupon, this should fit. Yes, it, should. it does. It fits in perfectly into my pocket. And I'm just going to remove this little protective cardstock here that's part of the packaging. Alright, uh, I do notice that some of the tabs are a little bit bent, but they are um, laminated. This isn't like a 10 millimeter laminate, and I don't expect it to be because these are dividers, so um, it's a perfect weight for uh, dividers for the laminate but the tabs are a little bit bent but I do plan to make my own dividers as well I do like that you can flip through it quite easily so you get these stickers here and they're all in this nor et blanc kind of uh, feel with the gray tones as well and I guess this is so that you can put these on these tabbies right here I like how they do that and over here, you have these uh, little stickers here. Top three, read, priorities, action, birthday, dinner, to do, due date. Very handy dandy. Okay, and this was the personal information page. Okay. And then this is an undated calendar. And this is the meeting notes section. And you have your subject, your date attendees and location and here's a to-do section and there are plenty of to-do pages here so this should be ample I do love the fact that it's a very light gray uh, dotted line and then these are like note pages where it has the subject and date and just blank lines for you to fill and the rest of the dividers here are filled with the same thing. Now I think what I would do is I would probably add a um, back, kind of like dashboard back here uh, just because I never like having text weight just sit on the back. I feel like I need some sort of sturdiness just to reinforce it and so that it doesn't get bent or damaged. Like you can see this last page there's a lot of you know little dings down here. I don't know if you can see it, but there are little bent marks and dings down here. So that's the reason why I like to add in um, a last page here with most of my binders that I have. Because it is an o-ring, you'll see how it bends over like that just naturally. That's how it will lay because of the o shape. So that's why I plan to put in something more sturdy like another divider. You know what, this is what I'll do for, for right now because I don't like my text weight just sitting without any backing to it. So let's go ahead and just swing these over here and put this there. Alrighty, so yep, you see how that's so much better with just with that extra sturdy piece. It just adds so much more um, support to the papers. So I will be doing my inserts. And so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my inserts uh, for the Kiki K and also my tab dividers for the Kiki K. The thing about the paper is that it is a rather lightweight paper. I don't know if you can see this, but this is so light that you can see right through to the other side. And so I prefer anywhere from a 28 to a 32 pound um, text weight or writing weight. If you have already participated in the Kiki K um, Be Brave Challenge, then let me know. And if you haven't yet, then I encourage you to go ahead and get into Instagram and do this challenge. Writing it down or stating it um, in words, not just spoken words, but you know, typing it down or writing it down is the first step to accomplishing anything. I'm working on a blog post about that. I will go more into details about that, but it is extremely powerful. Um, 
but before I get into too much detail about that concept, go ahead and just do it. Do it. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoy this little walkthrough of this beautiful, just absolutely stunning, textured black Kiki K leather. And I will go more into details how I will be utilizing uh, my Happy Planner and my Kiki K to just organize my ever so busy life. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.